please note that these date filters have uh, been advanced in uh, Excel 2007, 10, 13 and these are very useful. So here we have the month. Okay, So I would want to know like how much sales have been done in the year 2012 okay, by all the people, by all the salesmen. So how I can do is okay, I can put control shift L, I got it and if I press here, okay, what you find is that Excel automatically has understood that it is dead. So in here they are saying that sort oldest to lowest so that we will see the sorting but if you see the filtration okay if you see it is showing okay i have data of 2012 i have data of 2011 so let us see if i select the data of 2011 okay i can see all the month okay similarly for 12 data i can see the month so whichever month month you want you can select let's say you don't want 2012 you want to know in 2011 how much sales is done in January, February, March. That is, you are interested in the sales that is done in the quarter one. Okay. So this is your quarter one as per the financial year. Okay. So you press OK. So what you have is you have all this data. So 138 record is there. So it is only showing you for the quarter one. Right. So only only the quarter one data is there. Okay. Now, okay, if you want to know, okay, in CFA level one, quarter one, how much? So you can see that only quarter one you have the CFA level one data. Okay. So this is how you can uh, do. Okay. Now let us see. Let us remove the filter from here. Okay. And let us clear the filter. Okay. Now you can see that uh, Excel is very smart <coughs> and it has given you lots of date filter choices. So here you can see that all these choices are given to you. You can apply before, after, between. Even you can apply, okay, what, what was the uh, I, uh, value in last month, okay, or last quarter, okay, so, and then it also year to date, all dates in period, okay, it can be last year, it can be next year, this year, okay, or you can apply some custom filter. So, there are ready-made data that is given to you, which you can apply. So, let's say I want to know that what was the sales done in 2012, which is last year. So, what I can do is. I click here and I go to date filter and I select last year. So it will give me all the values which are of last year. Okay. So this is a very quick way to get your uh, data of last year. Okay. Let us suppose I want to know okay, how much, uh, let us say I will clear the filter okay, and I want to know how much is the sales done between, okay, so let us say between and it will give you the values. Let us say suppose I want to know okay, between let us say October 1st, 2011 and let us say November 30th, 2011. It should be 11. So I change it here. Okay. Press OK. Right. So it, it will show only data of October and November. Right. So this will show only data of October and November and it is a you can uh, see how much sales is being done. So this is a very good way to, so what we can do is this you can, you can select, let's say you want to know before some date. So let's say you want to know that before, let's say 1st October 2011, how much sales is done. So this is what it will give you before October 2011. If you want to uh, know after October 2011, that also you can select. So let's say after October. 2011 so you can get the data so you can try playing with this okay so it has lots of uh, information thing right so then what we can have is okay so if you see here one of the one of the most interesting thing that i found is okay let's say if i want to do the uh, filtration i can they say that all dates in the period quarter one okay so it will give me all the sales that have been generated in quarter one. Okay, quarter one means quarter one of 2012 as well as quarter one of 2011. So it will have all data of quarter one only. Okay, but here it is not making any difference between whether it is quarter one of 2011 or quarter one of 2012. So if you want to get for quarter one of 2012, what you can do is just you can select this. Okay, so no, 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 just one. 
no you cannot like you can only search on the quarter and then uh, you can so let's say here quarter one but if i want to do for 2012 i have to manually select only this case so it is not uh, that uh, useful okay but yes it gives you an idea okay how you can uh, select this uh, values so this is a very good way to uh, do the filtration right so i hope that you have understood the uh, filtration concept note that to un understand it i would say that you can uh, use this excel side by side and you can do it okay now 